So let's begin with our session of maths today. A few guidelines as usual. You should be sitting nicely and comfortably. Pen, pencil and notebook should be ready. And do not scribble on the screen. Right? So today's topic is cost price and selling price. We already know how to find the profit and loss. In this session, we will learn how to find the cost price and selling price if profit is already or loss is already given to me. Right? Yes. A quick recap of all the terms that we have learned. Cost price. What is the cost price? It is the price at which goods are or have been bought by a merchant or retailer. Or we can say the cost incurred to produce or manufacture a product or an item. In short, it is called CP. And selling price is the price at which the product is sold to the buyer or to the customer. It is also called SP, short of selling prices, SP. And how do we find that it is profit or loss? We see the selling price and the cost price. We compare both the prices. If selling price is more than the cost price, then the difference is profit. And if the cost price is more, and selling price is less, then it is loss. And how do we find the amount of profit and loss? By subtracting both the prices. In case of profits, selling price is more. So profit is selling price minus cost price. And in case of loss, cost price is more. So the loss is equal to cost price minus selling price. Basically, it is the difference between both the prices, right? If selling price is more, we earn profit. And if cost price is more, we incur losses, right? Now, today in this session, we are going to find the cost price. How do we find the cost price? If profit is given, right? If I am given that this is the profit and you have to find the cost price, in this case, my cost price is equal to selling price minus profit, right? The price at which I have sold the goods, if I subtract the profit that, was, uh, that I have earned, then I will get the cost price right we can show this in form of a model also selling price is more right that the price that is higher is always written on top in this model and since it is the profit so selling price is more selling price on top then cost price and then profit if i have to find the cost price I will subtract both these terms, selling price minus profit. But if loss is given to us, in that case, what we do, there's some chart, yes. In case I am having loss on selling the goods, in that case, what am I going to do? I'm going to add the loss to the selling price. Why? Because the selling price is less. Selling price plus loss is equal to my cost price. Yes. So we have learned two things. If I have to find the cost price, right? And selling price and profit are given to me. In that case, I will subtract to find the cost price. And if loss is given to me and selling price is given to me and I have to find the cost price, I will add 
selling price and loss. Then only I'll get my cost price. Here in the model again, I'll tell you here cost price is more because we are incurring loss. That means my cost price was more than my selling price, right? So cost price will be written on top of this model and the other two terms will be written in the next line selling price and loss and selling price and loss when we add both of them what do i get i get the cost price students you can note this down somewhere in the notebook so that when you start solving the problems at least you have these formulas with you right so if Profit is given again. I'm repeating if profit is given and I have to find the cost price selling price minus profit if loss is given and I have to find the cost price selling price plus loss Right Let's understand this with the help of an example also It says Rahul sold a puppet for rupees 315 at a loss of rupees 23. What was the cost of the puppet? So in the question, the selling price is given to you. That is rupees 315 and loss is given to you. That is rupees 23 and he is asking you to find the cost of the puppet. Now, since it is the loss, that means cost price is less than the selling price. Yes or no? Yes. When cost price is less, then only we have losses. So, how will I find my cost price? My cost price will be selling price plus loss. I will add. Yes. Right? And when I will add both the numbers, 315 plus rupees 23, I get the total cost price as rupees 338. Yes, so many correct answers in the chat box. Absolutely correct. So the cost of the puppet was rupees 338. Yes, you are correct. So I hope you have understood how to find the cost price. Good. Let's move to another example of the cost price. Right? It says Ali made a profit of rupees 281 on a carpet. He sold for rupees 5389. Now Again, this time Ali is making profit on selling the things. So the selling price. So the selling price of the carpet is rupees 5389. And profit of the carpet earned on selling the carpet is 200 and 81. Now, in this case, it is profit. That means selling price is more than the cost price. So, how will I find my cost price? By subtracting. Right? Selling. So, cost price of the carpet will be selling price minus profit. And when I subtract this 5389 minus 281, it would be the cost price would be 5108. Yes, absolutely correct. All the ones who are writing the answers side by side in the chat box and solving it for me. Correct. So the cost price of the carpet is rupees 5108. 
So I hope you have understood how to find the cost price. Again, if I have to find the cost price and profit is given, I subtract selling price minus profit, I will get the cost price. If loss is given to me and selling price is given to me and I have to find the cost price, in that case, I add selling price plus loss is equal to my cost price right now let's move ahead the selling price now we have to find the selling price cost price is already given to us either profit or loss will be given to us and we will have to find the selling price Students, here it will be the reverse of what we have done in the cost price. If I have to find the selling price, cost price is given to me, profit is given to me, add. Right? And I will get the selling price. See them. Again, if it is profit, that means my selling price is more. And more amount I will get only when I will add two smaller amounts that are given to me. <clears throat> right? So, when I will add the cost price and the profit, I will get my selling price. In case the loss is given and I have to find the selling price, in that case, what will I do? Again, it is loss. That means selling price is less than the cost price. Cost price is a bigger amount. One bigger amount is given to me and I have to find the smaller amount. How will I reach to that small amount? By subtracting. So in case cost price is given and loss is given to me, I will subtract and find my selling price so if loss is given and i have to find the selling price selling price is equal to cp minus loss if you have written it somewhere for the cost price and for the selling price you can see it is exactly the reverse if i have to find the cost price and profit is given i subtract if I have to find the cost price and loss is given, I add. Whereas, if I have to find the selling price and profit is given, I add. And if I have to find the selling price when loss is given, I subtract the loss. So, this you have to be careful when you are solving the questions and you don't have to mix them up. Right? Let's understand this with the help of an example too. again. A tourist bought a table at rupees 21,380. He sold it at a profit of rupees 1,500. What price did he sell the table at? So what two things are given to me? First, I'm going to note them down. It is saying the tourist bought the table. Cost of the table is 21,380 rupees. He sold it at a profit of rupees 1,500. So the profit given here is 1,500. So he's buying it to sell. So this becomes the cost price 21,380 and profit 1500. It is profit, that means selling price is more than the cost price. And if I have to find a bigger number when two small numbers are given, what am I supposed to do? Add. So, how will I find my selling price? I will find my selling price by adding the cost price and the profit. So I will add 21,380 and 1,500 and my answer is 
Yes, twenty-two thousand eight hundred and eighty. Absolutely correct. The ones who have written the same amount in the chat box. So the tourist sold that table for rupees twenty-two thousand eight hundred and eighty, making a profit of fifteen hundred rupees. Right? Yes. Now another example where we are having losses. Right? Let's see. It says find the selling price. Again, we have to find the selling price of the wall hanging. Here, the example is of a wall hanging. It says a wall hanging cost Uma rupees eight thousand three hundred and fifty. She sold it for rupees five hundred and fifty less than what she had paid for it. That means how much did she pay for it? Eight thousand three hundred and fifty. So my cost price is eight thousand. 350 and she is selling it for rupees 550 less that means it is the loss she is selling the wall hanging at loss loss of rupees 550 right yes so what price did she sell it for now it is the loss that means the selling price is less than the cost price. Cost price is the bigger amount. And if I have to find a smaller amount, what am I going to do? Subtract. Right? So I will find my selling price by subtracting the cost price and the loss. So I will say that selling price is equal to cost price minus loss 8350 is my cost price minus 550 which is my loss so my selling price is equal to 7800 yes so many of you have given the correct answers it is now the selling price of the wall hanging is 7,800 or we can say Uma sold the wall hanging for rupees 7,800, right? Now, I want you to try these, right? The selling price is given to you. Get ready with your notebooks and pencils. The profit is given to you and you have to find the cost price. What is the cost price? Write down. Cost price is equal to selling price. What are you going to do? Minus profit. Let me see whether you're doing all of you or not. Yes. Answer me in the chat. The second one for you. Selling price is rupees 1900. Loss is rupees 190. And the cost price you have to find. Right? Solve this. Cost price is equal to selling price. What? Plus loss. Now, the other two are cost price is already given to you. 1,631. Profit is given to you. 413. And you have to find the selling price and in the last one 
cost price is 9060 loss is 1285 and selling price you have to find so two minutes for you to quickly solve these questions Please be careful where you have to add and where you have to subtract. Otherwise, you may end up answering me wrong, right? Let's take the answer to the first one. 992 rupees. If you're getting the same answer, 992, you can put a tick on your solving, correct. After solving, just answer me the second part. What should be the answer for the second part? What is the cost price? Cost price is equal to, before I give you the answer. Let's see what's the answer. Yes, 2,090. I got, I think, two or three only correct answers on my screen. 2,090. You're going to add the loss. Yes, the third one now. What should be the answer to the third part? One thousand six hundred thirty-one profit is four hundred thirteen. So my selling price should be yes. I can see a few correct answers. Two thousand forty-four. Absolutely correct. If you have got this answer, the last one for you. Cost price is 9060 loss is 1285 What should be my selling price? Write the answer in the chat. Yes, I've started getting the answers. A few of them right, a few of them wrong. You still have to no practice. The answer is seven thousand seven hundred and seventy-five. Correct. All the ones who have given these four answers, very good. And the ones who are no a little bit of here and there incorrect, practice a little more sums so that the concept is clear to you. Right? Good. Now it's the time for your queries. If you have any queries, you can ask me through the chat box and you can send your feedback also. And you can ask your parents to send the feedback at manavds at yahoo.co.in.